And 2400 seconds into the mission, all Centaur systems are stable, operating as expected. This is Atlas Mission Control at all plus 40 minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, and just under three minutes from spacecraft separation. That'll be our final mark event for today. Again, the vehicle continues to perform as planned. It is at an altitude of 1,247 nautical miles and is 9,827 miles downrange from Cape Canaveral, tra traveling at a velocity of 19,380 miles an hour. Two and a half minutes to spacecraft separation. And Centaur has begun to arrest its PTC role. This is in preparation for spacecraft separation. And Centaur has completed that maneuver. Less than one minute to spacecraft separation. Centaur is now rolling to its solar pointing vector. And that roll has been completed. Prior to spacecraft separation, Centaur will begin to roll at one degree per second. And Centaur has begun its one degree per second roll, preparation for spacecraft SEP. It has now achieved one degree per second. And we have spacecraft separation. And we've just had spacecraft separation. We've confirmed that the Sivers GO-1 spacecraft has separated from the Centaur vehicle. Lieutenant Del Rosario, congratulations. We've just seen the successful launch and deployment of the first space-based infrared systems spacecraft. Thanks, Don. This is a great day for our deployed forces around the world, the Air Force and the United States of America. Go Big Red! Very good. And I'd like to thank Marty Malinowski for his uh, expert play-by-play -play of the launch and flight events. And I'd also like to thank Lieutenant Del Rosario from the Air Force uh, infrared uh, infrared Space Systems Directorate. For more information about this launch, please visit our website at www.ulalaunch.com. And we'll now conclude our live Atlas V launch broadcast coverage of the Sibbers Geo-1 mission. I'm Don Spencer, and I appreciate you joining us. Thank you, and have a great afternoon. We'll leave you now with one final look at liftoff. Seven, six, five, four, Atlas engine ignition, zero, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the first space-based infrared systems mission for the United States Air Force. And you're hearing the voice of Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle ascent data 
Let's listen in for the mission's progress. Picture our roll program has begun. Body rates are good. 